I've done millions of laps around that and like it's baked hard a bit so it'll make it a little bit quicker but I did like four of my fastest ever laps around that today. Yeah, like bored of it already because it's like <laughs> it's settled. Back again, back, back again. to the same place. Um, yeah, so yesterday had a good day. Just got used to the bike, got dialed in, loosened up a bit. One thing I've changed for today, rear sprocket, that's it. Um, gone from 50 to a 51. Um, hoping that'll just make it a little bit better out the turns, because it is a tight track this, but I know from riding my TPI there that you get a good third out of the corners here, it sort of works everywhere, so um, yeah, we'll try that and see how it goes, but suspension wise I've not touched a thing, pretty happy with that from yesterday, um, again the track's not super rough but it's it's like drop offs and stuff in it and it hasn't done anything wrong whatsoever yet, so that's a good sign and I'm sure when I jump on my TPI later, which I've got a real fast lap around here on that, um, it'll you know it'll be able to compare it better even not just on a lap time but just generally feeling off the bike where it's kicking and and there's a lot of like de-acceleration parts on this track with a bump so you like when you shut off the bike gets on the front wheel just flicks it back up a lot so um yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> Getting too old for this. Pretty hard work around that lap there. Proper hard. Is it a 59? Don't know. It's hard to it's hard to tell. I'll have a look. <laughs> not bad, Dario, not bad. Yeah, what's you saying? 5909. <laughs> it's nearly a 58 really. But yeah. It was hard because wind, the wind's hard around there, so you, you're like, normally I'm dead good at saying what lap time is, but honestly, you're getting blown about. It, it, the other one before messed up a couple of little corners, not much, but a little bit where you're like, it's, it's good, but it's not 
I can go another second quicker than that, which, which I have. Pretty much a second quicker than the one before. Good that, I'm happy with that, because that was, I've always wanted to do a sub two minute round here, and that bike's made it happen. Um, and the rider, of course. <laughs> old, but still go all right now and then. But yeah, no, it was all right, so. What I want to try next is um, put the stock header pipe on it, front pipe, just to um, go back. Now I'm used to the bike like that and it's working good. Pretty happy with it. Um, I want to just put the stock header pipe on it. I rode in Florida with one of them on and it felt pretty similar, I would say, um, to this, like, you know, I'm always looking for more bottom end anyway, but I just want to try it to make sure it's not got way more bottom end in it or anything that, you know, I'm thinking, oh, actually, this is way better. So that's what I just wanted to, to try and just see what, what happens. So that was, the time was pretty similar really. Um, I found no big difference down low, so that's good. The depth, you know, I was just wanting to make sure that it wasn't massively different. The depth definitely comes in stronger. So I feel that I can make more mistakes with the depth front pipe and still do a good time. Where on the stock pipe, it might be slightly easier to ride, but at the same time, if I make a mistake, I can't, it hasn't got the the, the snap out of a, out like mid sort of range out onto a straight or between corners to, to get that back. So that's good. I, that's what I just wanted to confirm that the, you know, the, I wasn't gonna go like two seconds faster with that pipe on or anything. It was like, I always back to back stuff and try it and I always do everything with the time, but um, the quickest time was with the depth pipe, so I pushed on it in two hot laps with that on, and it was close, I, you know, it's not much difference, but I just feel like the, I would say, it's, it's hard, it was harder to make the lap time happen with the stock pipe on than what it was with the depth, so, um, I think I could go another second quicker with the depth on right now on a perfect lap which is a hell of a lot of time around that track, you know, but I'm sure I could looking at my sectors where this one, both laps were right, exact same near enough. So I was on the limit with it. So yeah, that's a, that's a good sort of mindset of that. Right, so now I've got my TPI here um, that I race most local enduros and stuff on. Um, that thing's well dialed. I, normally it was for extreme moat mainly, that's what I built the bike for, but it just works everywhere. It's like, it's so, they got a bit of a bad name, them bikes. And when I first got it, I had problems with it. I did videos on it. And, um, but I've had one now for what, two, three years. And the things, it's me, it's me reliable bike that I go to if, you know, if in doubt conditions, whatever, that thing works everywhere. I'm fast on it, um, you know, it's, you can, I can go everywhere on it. I can go and do an extreme world championship on it. I can do a local enduro, I can do a British enduro on it. I could probably go and do a world enduro on it and do all right. So it's a good solid bike. Um, and that, until today, that had the fastest lap around this track. Um, so I'm just gonna go out on it now, do a couple of laps on it. Just not chase a lap time so much. I will, of course, a little bit, but just to get a feeling to see what the gearing's like on that compared to this. and. Um, yeah, it's just, again, it's to put your mind at rest that, you know, oh, I'm three seconds a lap quicker on that bike and it's easy, you know, just to, like I did with the exhaust, it's just to go out there and, and you know, compare it. I think, you know, I don't know, but I'm sure of a lot of guys, you watch Supercross and stuff like that, that 
Um, I remember watching Bubba on a YZ 250 when he was racing 450 and years ago, and I'm sure he was quicker on the bloody thing, but they, oh, the thing's slow, and that feels slow in a track on a, on a special test. That feels slow, but the times are unbelievable on it sometimes. So it's one of them where it's an easy bike to ride and it makes a lap time easy, which is the name of the game. Um, I'll check the time in a minute, but quite a lot different, but the main thing is the gearing is pretty much exactly the same. So I know this bike works everywhere. I'm in exact same gears and it feels I'm changing gear the same place on the track. That suspension is better than this one. So that's confirmed. That's confirmed something straight away around there you don't feel the bumps as much on, on that. And that's obviously that's linkage, this is PDS. This is probably a bit soft side for around here, but um, you know, there's a few little bits where the bike kicks out of corners and that on the accelerating bumps. They both do it the same, but I would say with that being a little bit stiffer, you get away with it a bit more on that than actually I do on this, um, which surprised me a little bit, but that's a good thing um, I think we've got had a good day again really we've had two good days on it now and um, I'm gonna get back to the workshop give it a, give it a good check over spokes and give it a bolt check and that drop the gear oil out of it change that and then need to get it up a different track get it to um, up a motocross track and then get it up in some on some trail stony rocky trail because that's that's where I might have to have a play around with the forks and that with the clickies and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm real, a lot more pleasantly surprised today than I was yesterday. So I know that the thing's working well, suspension's good, engine's good. Engine feels better again today. So I think just getting some light hours on it. I think it's got an hour and a half on it now. So it's not been a lot, you know. Um, two hours now after today um, so yeah things are loosen up we all faithfully it was good around there it was like um, it won't be far off it won't be much different in time uh, but yeah definitely gone the right way with that bike so that's good This is a place where I've spent probably 360 days a year for 20 years. When when I was at the top of the sport, this is the main place I came and rode, really. Down by the beach, you've got like, there's millions of trails over that way. Um, deep sand down the bottom. It's rough, rough ass old place, which that's what you, you learn to love it over the years. You learn to love the place. And like, I've had people out here before that um, in shock they come out and they're like fucking hell how the hell do you ride but <clears throat> that's why I was always so fit and I just come down here I'd be here some weeks seven days a week some days I'd do a few days up the woods a few days out here but I would just ride all day you know I'd have a bit of play time at the end of the day I would I would do me work you know do basically special tests all the time my my philosophy always was, and it still is, if you can ride the roughest, shittest tracks at, and even shittest weather, a bit more of a fair weather rider now, but I used to just ride in anything. And when when you got, I remember talking to Joel Smith about it, and he was like, if you ride and train in the shittest tracks weather imaginable, 
then every race you get to is going to be a pleasure and it's freaking true it's like i used to i'd get to a race and, and pretty much every race that we went to was was easy compared to what you ride out here and um yeah you put the graft in in the week it makes the weekends easier that was a whole thing but i was lucky that i enjoyed it you know um, and still do you know <laughs> this place has never got any easier the more you do it you'll get faster you'll get fitter but it's never easy you're always pushing that little bit harder so if you're at the top of your game and the fit is a fiddle if i do the lap that i'm going to do in a minute which is like two minutes long you'd be blown out your ass like proper but that's never changed you know when i was winning gncc their three-hour race you'd be still blowing your ass after two minutes around that um you'd just be pushing harder all the way around and um yeah so we've not ridden since last week on this she's been locked up yeah so we'll get out we've got a bit to do today and then i think we've got a linkage in that tomorrow to try with k-tech um but i'm nervous now because the bike was really good last week um and i know this place like the back of my hand so i'll get a better idea than i will at that other track that we were um, with it and then tomorrow again on my motocross track um, so i'm looking forward to it but at the same time i'm a bit tad nervous that um, i'm not going to like something and i'm racing at the weekend so <laughs> back end's good yeah really good like that that's not as rough it, it the sand flattened down but the big bumps are there yeah i was about to ask so it's not as deep yeah. it's not as deep as last time so i'd expect not yet i'd expect to go quicker in a bit but good like straight away i was up in now i thought i can't be in fourth gear i was instead of third so the gearing on it around here is I would say too low, which that other track was really tight, yeah. which I said that, but I think I could go back to a 50 round here, which is on the other wheel anyway, um, just so you can pull third more and then fourth on the faster stuff. And on that other track, it was hardly any different. What was it like? 
point, I don't know, a second or something like that it was. Yeah. So it's not much, um, but we're quick around here, so that's where you compromise and you're like, well, actually, I think I can get away with the 50 on the rear um, and use third better in all the tight stuff and fourth on a little bit faster. At the minute, it's like holding me back a bit because it's a little bit low, it's spinning a bit in third, but um, suspension's fucking unreal. Like, honestly, it's, you go around there, I would say maybe it's a bit low on the back as well. I'm on the low side on the sag. Um, but around that track, you're like, oh, I went on a different rhythm down that lane and it was horrible. It was a big G out and the other bike would have kicked me and then hit it and went off. This didn't, it wasn't pleasant still, but it was like, not because the bike kicked, it was because it was hit it that quick. And I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna hit the face of this when I land and I did, but it took it. And then on the normal line that I take, it was really good, it was like bang, and then there's like four holes that you hop across. Um, so when I did the other rhythm, the four holes you hop across were in a different sequence. So there was one with a massive big edge, and I was like, oh shit, here we go. And it hit it, and honestly, it just went like that, it didn't do anything. So, suspension's fucking good, really good. I've done millions of laps around that, and like, it's baked hard a bit, so it'll make it a little bit quicker, but I did like four of my fastest ever laps around that today. Um, I put the depth pipe back on and around that track every time I was quicker with it, so that was good. The bike just felt good around there. The handling was unreal. Like I haven't even hardly touched it, I've tried. I moved the forks up a little bit. The spring's bedding in a bit. The sag was a bit low to what it was when I started, so um, I just went a lap on the preload on that. Um, and that's it. It's sort of like, yeah like bored of it already because it's like <laughs> set up yeah the thing the thing's plush is anything them forks feel unreal um, so yeah so far so good we're good Dario we're, we're, we've got a, a, a good winning machine at the minute I think so okay. we'll see we'll, you tomorrow time will, time will tell won't it that's it time will tell <laughs>